Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you everything I bought at ComplexCon. I got the chance to go there this weekend to Long Beach and attend my first ComplexCon, which was super exciting because I've always wanted to go and this was my one time that actually decided to go and make the trip over there. Now bear in mind a lot of the items I'm going to show you, about 8 out of 10, maybe like 80% of those items are not mine. I actually bought quite a bit of stuff for my friends who weren't able to make it this year and I was pretty surprised with how much stuff I could actually grab for them considering um, a lot of the stuff usually sells out really quick or really early and I didn't go that early the second day but the first day I got there um, a little bit earlier so that I can wait in line and then hit up every booth that I tried to go to. So let's just get into the haul and I hope this video uh, finds you well. I will be traveling to Japan in a few days and tomorrow is actually Thanksgiving so um, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for watching my videos and if you want to see like Japan travel content and whatnot then just stick around or you can follow me on my TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, whatever it is. Um, yeah, so let's just get right into the video. By the way, I'm wearing this AT's merch. I went to their concert super last minute. Someone on Twitter gave me a free VIP ticket, which was... I feel like I get the best luck with concerts, so I ended up going and it was one of the best shows I've ever been to. I bought this shirt. It wasn't merch from the actual concert, but I got it online on eBay and it's one of the baggiest, most oversized fit shirts that I have. And I really, really like it. Um, I wish it came in like different colors and different sizes, but I'm really glad I bought this. So just in case you were wondering. Also wearing my Issei. Miyake pleats. These are I just got these off Essence. They had like 20% off sale, which they have like every year. So it's no particular order of the things that I'm gonna show you, but this item right here is the Complex Con and Nigo collaboration t-shirt in extra large. It's a black t-shirt with um, a design right here in collaboration for the 20 years of Complex Con. Um, Nigo did something for uh, in celebration of that and this was at the complex merch booth which there was a lot of merch at the complex merch booth and then there was a lot of stuff like that you can like walk around yeah so this one has like a little cat on it i got this for my friend because he forgot to buy it the first day that he went and i actually didn't see anyone i knew the first day i ran into someone who like remembered me from instagram um so we took a picture together but that was like the only time i ever like ran into someone that i might have known or like was familiar with um i didn't know any of my friends were going to complex con I'm not really sure if they're into that stuff anymore. I know ComplexCon had been something that was like really popular within the last few years, but I feel like the lineup for this year's stuff was really good. Like it was human made. Um, there was like, you know, very like, Hosted the whole thing. There's Bandy the Pink. Uh, I got some stuff from Caseify in collaboration with um, Poggy the Man and uh, Verdi. So I, I feel like a lot of the brands that I liked and I could recognize were available there. And I, I honestly thought that was a really good lineup for me. My neighbor has a really loud engine and a big truck. Yeah. Continuing on, I got this t shirt from Human Made and Girls Don't Cry collaboration. And it's just one of their generic, like, original t-shirts. Um, got it in black. I got this the second day. This is my second human-made t-shirt. Unfortunately, they didn't have any other sizes aside from size small, so this is a little short on me. I mean, I'm glad I can fit a size small, but I know a lot of the people who are trying to buy stuff over there got there super early because there was a one limit per person on these, and it was super limited, so I'm really glad that I could get this. Um... And it was kind of, oh, it was so annoying. Like I left my ticket at home on accident. So I had to go in and like rebuy a ticket for the first day. And then I didn't consider going the second day because I don't want to pay like double the amount. But because my friend had bought so much stuff, he was like, if you go back the next day, then I'll pay for your ticket. And I was down because there were some things that he actually like still wanted and still needed that I was already available to like go because I had planned on it. I got this the second day because they said that for human made, they had a white version of this t-shirt, which I'm going to show you. They had a varsity jacket and then they had one of those like plastic crates that you can store stuff in. They told me that the black version of the shirt would be available on day two, which made me like, oh, of course, someone who wears all black, I can't buy it because it's not on the day that I'm there. So I ended up going back the next day and I got a size small. This retails for I think $130. That's how much I paid for with tax and that's just the back. I think it's really cute. It's really simple. The material of the shirt is higher quality than like the complex con merch stuff and I hope that it will not shrink in the washer because that would be really sad. I'd have to turn it into a crop top. 
The second thing that I got was this Vandy the Pink. It's a brown oversized t-shirt and this was exclusive to complex con he had this like really cool drive through like a burger joint type of pop-up shop and this is like the theme of the merch that he had love for friends and family and it's got like it's giving in and out vibes but not as cheesy or corny and i got it in this cool brown color um i don't typically wear t-shirts that have like a high neckline i can tell that this is going to be like a little bit higher or like closed off at the top but i think it should be fine i think like if it's a dark color it'll look good on me but light colors don't look good on me like as much because I feel like they make my shoulders look wide and I already have like pretty wide shoulders. This is the shirt and I think this retailed for like 65 bucks. I was surprised at how inexpensive some of the t-shirts were. Like, you know, a lot of people are going to be like, $65 is inexpensive for a t-shirt. Okay, like when you're on Grailed and you're browsing stuff like this, I can guarantee you that this human made shirt is probably going to be like 200 bucks on Grailed. And I already know this because I looked it up, but I think it's nice to be able to buy things at retail even though you have to pay to get into a space that offers it but this was an exclusive and vanny vanny's like his pop-up was so cool like he was really nice um i got to meet him and i high key fangirl because i was in line waiting like for my turn to go buy stuff and he came up to me and was like hey like i like your style like I really like your style like it's like it fits you really well or suits you really well and I was like oh my god like that means so much to me considering you know like I'm buying clothes from I'm buying clothes from his brand so I was really like ah oh my god when I went to go buy the items which is the shirt I I went back uh, to the counter to like go get my free tote bag which I'll show you that comes with every purchase for the first I think like 200 people each day he like came up to me and was like oh yeah like where are you from like started a conversation with me and I was like oh I'm from like SF um, you know and he's like I thought you were like from Japan I'm like oh dude no like that'd be so cool though like I'm actually going to Japan like at the end of this week and then he's like oh really like like where Tokyo they have like crazy fashion over there like just letting me know like mm, you should have a good trip like there's so, much, so many things that you can check out which I'm like quite unprepared for if we're gonna be honest I don't really have that much of an itinerary for the two weeks that I'll be there first week I should be fine because I have a lot of things I need to do um, but that second week I'm kind of just chilling for a bit so I'm gonna check out all like vintage stores and like vintage um, consignment shops so I'm really excited for that and he he was like, yeah, like, it's nice to meet you. We took a photo. And so the next day I went and I had forgot to buy this t-shirt, which I'm going to show you right now. But this is the t-shirt that I forgot to buy on the first day. It is a Billionaire's Boys Club ice cream collaboration for, like, with Vandy the Pink. And it's this ice cream cone. This is not exclusive to complex gone i think this had already dropped online at some point but it's this like t-shirt and what was like really ironic about it is that when i went back into line um the next day to buy this like the entire staff crew was wearing this t-shirt so the guy at the front of the line the employee was like oh you're back like up and i said oh dude i forgot to buy the shirt that you're wearing like what size are you like do you think i can fit a medium la 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 and he was like making a conversation with me which was really nice because i didn't think they would remember me retail for also like 65 dollars either 55 or 65 i think 65 because it's a collaboration but i really like this i don't have a lot of white t-shirts so i'm trying to like branch out of just wearing black when i went to go pay i got like another free tote bag i don't know how because like i i feel like there's more than 200 people that pass that that booth and like are buying something he like came up to me he was like hey like um there's a free t-shirt it's for friends and family like you didn't get it yesterday right and i was like no i didn't but this is so nice and this is so cool that you would like give me a free t-shirt because i don't know like i didn't look as cool the next day i went in like i went in a yoongi t-shirt and my capital fleece and my mason miharas kind of wrecked that day and they gave me this cool puffy paint vandy the pink um complex con t-shirt which was for family and friends only and i was like oh my god i'm going to cry right now because i think it's so cool to be recognized by people you look up to and not only that is like to be remembered is like a very special feeling to me i don't know i'm just i also have been so into this green color recently too so i've been <laughs> fangirling about that and the people were so nice or like have fun in japan like um i hope you like buy a lot of clothes and stuff and like see everything you want to see and i was like oh my god thank you so much like they're just really nice people for being like random people that don't even know me yeah you can tell it's like textured and stuff so 
I will be rocking this probably in Japan at some point. This is an Awake Verde collaboration, but this is a collaboration on the back. It has this like um, Verde character. 50 bucks I think it was pretty cheap considering like this was the first booth I hit so I was really expecting to spend like a hundred dollars per shirt but I got this it's pretty cute I really like like the little character and I think red and white just very simple and the back has a graphic on it and yeah I got this in a size medium I think a lot of these brands run small since it's like Japanese sizing and I like my stuff like super oversized so I got that. I got something from the Complex uh, merch booth, which is this Girls Don't Cry, uh, <laughs> this like pillow, and these are so popular for some reason. I don't, I don't get it, but I also get it. It's like a hype thing. This was sixty dollars retail, and I think it's like a cute like pillow. It's very signature. This is one of those signature items. Probably keep this. Um, I don't know if I'll keep it on my bed. I don't have anywhere to display it, but like if I ever move, which I probably will, I'll want to like have this on like a couch or something. So I'm keeping this. Um, they didn't sell out surprisingly because I got it the second day, but the first day I saw so many people walking out with these pillows and I'm just gonna yeet it over there. <laughs> this like keychain, but this is not the one that they um, were selling at the complex booth. This is actually the Cherry Los Angeles collaboration. And these keychains, I don't know, for some reason they resell for like like 70 to 80 dollars up to 100 and if you go on grailed you can see that people have already purchased them but like they retail for about 15 or 17 dollars and if you get the ones from the complex booth you'll see that they were only like 12 bucks but these are super popular amongst like i don't know like people who like girls don't cry like i don't know why for some reason these are super popular but i think it's cute like i'll have this on my bag so yeah, I also got a few of these for my friends. Secret Base, and it's a Secret Base Verde collaboration. It's another keychain. Um, I had to put in two coins into one of those gumball machines and turn it, and you get like a random keychain. And this is one of the collaboration like pieces. Um, I thought this was cool because they, they said that you can only really get these at their pop-ups or like in Japan. And I was like, wow, I was trying to do this the first day, but because the first day they said that you had to like scan a QR code and you had to pay via like online, I had absolutely no service in there, like no cell phone service, no internet or anything. I had to like walk out and walk back in. So I actually didn't buy this the first day. I had to go back the second day and I actually paid with cash that I found in my pocket. This is $10 and this gets resold for a lot too for some reason. I don't know, all these keychains. Speaking of more keychains and stuff to more of these Girls Don't Cry cherry keychains and I am giving these to my friends because they asked for two. And then this one, which is the Verdi collaboration again. Um, so these are the two random ones that I got in the uh, gumball thingy, you know, shopping bags, human made and cherry Los Angeles. So I think he wants these bags. So I'm just going to give them to him. This is the girls don't cry tote bag at the merch booth. And it has a butterfly on the back. And this is really cute. I'm kind of, I don't know. I kind of wish I got one for myself, but I don't really carry a bag out to begin with. So I held back on this $50. So for people who like these type of things, well, this is the most basic item I think that they had. Pretty sure they'll probably make another appearance next year at ComplexCon. I know Vandy the Pink will because he said see you next year, so that's already in the works. But this was $50. Another human made t-shirt, just a generic one from the human made booth. I got this in an extra large, which was the largest size I think that they had. And it's just the, the black and um, white and red one. And when I went to go buy this t-shirt, there was this random butterfly flying around in the like booth. And as they were about to check me out, this butterfly landed on like the, the cashier's like chest right here. And they were just like taking videos of the butterfly. And apparently that's good luck. So I just stood there and I was like smiling and shit because I don't know what else to do. The butterfly, I don't know where the butterfly came from, but it just, I think it's good luck apparently if it lands on you. And I was near it. So I'm gonna think I have good luck. This retail for $130. Again, human made runs small for like Americans. I think like if you are buying like a Japanese brand, they typically do Japanese sizing and 
I think you should just size up because they run small. Another Girls Don't Cry um, t-shirt. I actually got this one for myself in black, but I already wore it, so it's in the wash right now. But it is a Girls Don't Cry and undercover collaboration, and it is literally a girl with the text girls don't cry in red and i think this retails for like a hundred something dollars i can't remember um but he really wanted this one and i was like well they have plenty so i just grabbed this one for him extra large as well this is actually for his girlfriend she got a medium in this uh sweater like really thin sweater but it's not like a it's not like a long sleeve material is more like sweater material but long sleeve sweatshirt i don't know what these characters are called i don't i'm not like super familiar with undercover like i know what it is but i'm not familiar with like every single thing they have but this is the sweater i think this is pretty cute i don't know if it has anything on the back but it just has like these two characters on it and like the eyes are blocked out and this was i think like 200 dollars, which on the pricier side but also not really i don't know for something that was specifically exclusive to complex con which i think this is i think it's not too bad but again i'm not really familiar with anything about complex con so i'm just winging it like the way that other people are my friend also got this awake um birdie shirt and on the back of this shirt has a rose and a can which is like what they're like known for and this is a size extra large as well um, this was like 65 bucks, so pretty affordable compared to the other stuff. Like, I think these are the t-shirts that they started to sell out towards the second day, but they were available the first day, and I had to navigate through the whole place. Okay, last but definitely not least, this Girls Don't Cry signature hoodie. Um, signature hoodie on the front, it's got like the little logo, the Girls Don't Cry in the front, and then on the back it has it in like big text, which I'm not going to take it out and show you because it's not mine again. These signature hoodies are really difficult to find. I've seen them being sold on Grail for like two times the price already, and they retail for like 200 bucks, but it's really like high quality sweater. It's really thick. Again, like this is a size, I think it's a size large because they didn't have extra large, but this was available at the merch booth. So if you're going to ComplexCon, and you have like specific things you want to buy i think you should map it out like when they release the map the day before on the app you should map out everything and like hit your top priority stuff first and then take a bit of time to walk around because um things definitely started to sell out as i was standing in line so this this is one of those hot items and last but not least again i got this vandy the pink tote bag this is actually really nice um, it's really big and I put everything in here as I was walking around got two of these So I'm gonna give one of these to my friends when I drop off their stuff And this is a really nice like metallic chrome tote bag. It's good quality. It's a good travel bag The only thing it doesn't have is a zipper, but again, it was free so it really doesn't matter But yeah, this was free with any purchase even if you bought socks or something which were 20 bucks Then they would give you one of these as long as you were the first like 200 people online So yeah, that's basically the haul I kind of zoomed through it really quickly But that's because most of these things are in mind So I'm not gonna like take the time to try them on Hope you like if you've ever been to complex con you're able to cop everything you want and I'm like really excited to go maybe next year because i had a good time this year i actually went by myself and i'm i'm kind of glad i went by myself because i was able to hit every booth that i wanted to and i was able to go like a few times if i wanted to go back and get something because i was quick on my feet but there were a lot of cool booths actually i didn't even show you the last thing i got which was really cool actually because i got to meet like the ceo of caseify and poggy the man this is the phone case that i got um it's verdi collaboration again with caseify and actually i went to the caseify grand opening which was in my last vlog the girl who was running the event booth at complex con recognized me and said like hey like you're back like we were you're like at the grand opening right and i was like wow this is so cool to be remembered because that event had a lot of i guess like random people who went just people who have like uh social media pages with a lot of followers and whatnot and then i don't know i just thought it was kind of random that someone from case if i would remember me but i bought this one and i really like this blue like outer case i was gonna buy the Ader error collaboration that just dropped but i didn't want to spend like 98 to 99 dollars um on a phone case that was not like a hundred percent something i'd be satisfied with because it's quite expensive and the only problem with like the Ader error Ader error case was that it was blue on the back but like the bumper area here was black and i wanted the entire thing to be like 
translucent black um translucent blue and i was like yeah i guess i'm just gonna just like settle and then i'll like try to go find something because i saw that they were having a pop up there and there was a whole like photo op two photo op areas that you could take photos at and like the staff was really nice like they were really nice and i was just like excited because i really wanted to buy a new phone case before i left for japan well this is exclusive to complex con 2 because you i don't think you can buy this one online yeah i'm not getting a new phone anytime soon since i just got this so i'll be using this quite a bit okay so i think that's actually it for my haul i really hope you enjoyed this video um it is a bit different than all the other stuff that i've been posting because you know i've been in korea and i came back and then i've just been doing like i like try to do some more like daily life vlogs but my life is just really not that interesting traveling again i've been really busy and i want to put more like content about going abroad again to japan because i haven't been to japan before and i'm going to actually see 17 in concert over there at tokyo dome and then i'm going to go see j-hope at the mama awards um both of which i bought like resale tickets for on twitter from reliable sources so hopefully i didn't get scammed but i hope you enjoyed this video happy thanksgiving like thanks for all the support once again i hope you have like a blessed meal i hope you have a great like long weekend whatever you're planning for this weekend or like planning for in the winter upcoming trips i hope you get to do whatever you want to do on those trips and um, if you like this video, then you can leave a comment down below. You can thumbs it up. You can subscribe, whatever you want to do. And if you want to keep up with my Japan travels, then you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and then hopefully here because I will be posting vlogs here. And if you have any like recommendations for Japan as well, I'll be in Tokyo and Osaka. Then I might make a trip over to Korea. I'm not sure yet, but you know, we're already over there. So like, we'll see what happens. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.